calculate the value of n. Thank you. So according to this question, we are told that the sum of uh, 20 minus 4a from a equals 1 all the way up to n must give us a solution of negative 20. So like I said, when you see this symbol, the first thing that must spring to your face is the fact that we are looking for the sum. But guess what? The sum has been given to us here as equal to negative 20. Remember what you see here is always a general term and what you see here is always the sum of n terms. But then we don't know how many terms are added in this context. So we're going to need to know how many terms are added for us to be able to get the solution of negative 20. So traditionally speaking, when you are dealing with sigma, expand, find term 1, find term 2, find term 3. How do you find those terms? You start with the first term that is given there as your a. You substitute for a. You then work out the solution. You then change that number to 2, and then to 3, and then to 4, depending on where it started. In this case, it's starting from 1, so we will firstly substitute a with 1. After, we substitute a as 2. After, as 3. You have to increase by 1 all the time, and we are working with natural numbers. Okay, cool. So let's see what will happen in this case. So, the sum right, of n terms from a equals to 1 of 20 minus 4a is equal to, check this out, I'm simply going to keep putting a values there, substituting 1 first. So what will happen is you will basically have 20 minus 4 and then in brackets you'll have 1. Why? Because we were told to start substituting 1. And then we'll move on to the second one and put 20 minus 4 and then our next a value has to be 2. I hope you guys can see what is going on. And then you're going to continue doing this continuously. And then you will have now 20 minus 4 into our a value now changes from 1 to 2. And then lastly, you're simply going to have 3. And you can, of course, do this all the way until you get to n terms. Right. So if you simplify, 20 minus 4 will just give you 16. Plus 20 minus 8 will give you 12 plus 20 minus 12 will just give you 8, and this continues, and so on and so on. Right, but then we know that the sum is actually equal to negative 20, because we were told in the question that this sum is equal to negative 20. Right, so let's see what will happen here, guys. Let's see what will happen. Right, so if you go down here, well, we need to know what is our A value, what is our common difference, and what is the total number of terms we need to actually add. A, according to this, is 16. I'm going to write 16 there. And then our common difference in this is actually term 2 minus term 1, which is going to give us negative 4. 8 minus 12 is also giving, giving you negative 4. And then if you continue, we are looking for the total number of terms we are adding here, but we know something very interesting. And that is the fact that the sum has to be negative 20. So once you are here, it's just easy. You go fetch the correct summation formula. In this case, it's arithmetic. Because of the fact that it's arithmetic, you take the summation of arithmetic, you put it down, and then you plug in your variables and then you just solve basic algebra okay excellent stuff so what you will do here palesa you write sn is n over 2 into right 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference this is the formula for the summation what is our sum well we were given negative 20 how many terms are we adding we don't know that that is what the examiner is asking us to figure out right so 2 into your a value is 16 plus, we don't know what n is, minus 1, the common difference was given to us as negative 4. Now it's going to be basic algebraic simplification. A lot of you struggle when you get here. Please watch what you guys need to do. Sorry for that. All right. So you need to just cross multiply this over to that side. Negative 20 times 2 will simply give you negative 40, leaving you with an exponent, I mean, the, um, the value n here, which is the uh, numerator, yes, 2 times 16 is 32, and then you're going to do multiplication here, distribute the negative 4, 4, minus 4 times n, and also do minus 4 times minus 1. So minus 4 times n will give us minus 4n, and then minus 4 times 1 will give us positive 4, right. So if I continue, well, you'll just simply have negative 40 equals to n into negative 4n plus 36. Right, negative 40 will just simply be negative 4n squared. We are going in now, plus 36n. And if you are taking all the terms on the right-hand side to the left, which is going to simply leave you with a basic quadratic equation, you'll have 4n squared 
minus 36n minus 40 equals to 0. Well, that's minus is going to be plus. That's plus is going to be minus. This has always been, uh, has always been a minus. Everything can be divided by 4 here. So I'm going to divide all of them by 4. I'll have n squared minus 9n minus 10 equals 0, which then can be factorized right to get the solution. The, co uh, the factors of n squared are n and n factors of 10. That will give us 9 is 10 and 1. The bigger number takes the sign of the middle term. This one becomes a plus. Very powerful. And then from here, we can therefore see that n will just be 10 or we, n will be negative 1. But we know n cannot be negative 1 because n is the element of n, which means n can only be a natural number.